Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my birthday book haul. Stay tuned. for tuning in to another books with Kimberly video do not forget to like comment and subscribe today I'm excited to share with you the books that I got for my birthday I got plenty of them so this is my first book haul and I'm so excited about it let's get into it first book is the color purple by Alice Walker so technically I got this book over the summer but when my sister got this book for me she told me it was an early birthday present so shout out to my sister for this book you all should be very familiar with the story of color purple you've probably seen the movie it wasn't until last year that i read the book and you guys i actually enjoyed the book more than i enjoyed the movie just because a lot of the questions that i had in the movie were explained in the book I always wonder like what was that kiss about with Celie and Suge and like whatever happened to the relationship between Mr. I think his name may have been John and Celie towards the end of the book. What was their relationship? Like did they become friends? I was there was always like a little nod to maybe them becoming friends after he paid for her spoiler alert, paid for her sister and kids to come to America. But I was never for sure. This book goes into all of that as well as you really get to see and get to read the emotions that Celie was feeling being separated from her sister. It's like, I feel like it was there in the movie, but I really got to experience it reading the book of just how lonely she was, how sad she was, and how much she depended on the new friendship with Suge, how she just didn't feel like she had any love. I really enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite books. So I'm so excited that my sister got this for me. The next book is 32 Candles by Arnessa T. Carter. You guys, I'm so upset this woman does not have more books because this is exactly what I was looking for at the time. I read this book maybe two years ago and it is absolutely one of my favorites. I have been looking for books where the main character was a black woman. This genre of book is called Chiclet, and so I've been looking for more black Chiclet, which some people call it Soul Lit, which is books where black women are featured and it's fun, there's romance, it's about their real life, they're from their mid-20s to early 30s, and I found all of that within this book. 32 Candles is about the main character, Davy. It starts off from her being a young child. She is being raised by her abusive mother. And because of her mother's constant abuse, she shuts down and she actually does not speak. Even in school, she does not speak. That's her thing. And so people talk about her, they call her nasty names. They talk about her being a dark-skinned girl with nappy hair, but she's very smart, very bright. She sees the movie 16 Candles and there's this new boy that comes to town, very handsome, and she's hoping for a 16 Candles kind of ending, like love story between her and this popular boy. Something happens that sends her running off to California and in California not only does she find her voice so that she can survive, but she ends up being a cabaret singer. And you guys, this book is so good just to see her growth. And I love it so much because it's not the typical story of this just successful black woman who has it all together. We get to see that story of the girl that was picked on and, you know, ridiculed during her younger years. And she had to survive and really find her confidence, find her voice. And when she did it, she used it in a way that maybe some of you when you read this you might not like but i loved it i was here for it everything about this book the third book is another book by ernessa t carter which i have not read it is called the awesome girl's guide to dating extraordinary men now when i heard about this book i thought it was non-fiction i thought it was like a dating relationship style book 
you know how to but no this is actually a fiction novel and i'm so excited and i did not mention it before but the other book and this one were birthday gifts from my sister so she got me a total of three books i think she forgot about the color purple one but hey thank you sister so these books that i'm about to show you now are books that i ordered from target there was a buy two get one free sale and one of the first books i bought was Silver Sparrow by Tayari Jones. You guys, I love me a Tayari Jones book. I've read The American Marriage by her, which was really good. I will warn you if you've never read her work, she does not do the typical happy endings. Her books are thought provoking. They get you upset. You be all in your feelings, but I love it. I love a book that have me all in my feelings, have me angry mad thinking about these characters wanting to email her like girl why you wrote these people like that all of those emotions i love it so that is why she is one of my favorite authors and definitely this book is one of my favorite ones i actually like it more than american marriage which is her more famous and popular book which comes years after this one but silver sparrow is very interesting because it is about two half sisters who are the same age one of them is an outside child from another marriage. That's right. This girl, her name is Dana. Her mother meets her father when he is married. And when she finds out that she's pregnant, has him marry her too. He is a bigamist. I had to find y'all. When I heard the word bigamist, I thought it was bigot and I was so confused. But a bigamist, meaning he is married twice one of them is an illegal marriage but this woman was like i'm having your baby too so i want us to be married too so these sisters dana and sharice the book goes back and forth between the two of them and you guys it is just it's really heartbreaking because dana knows about sharice and her mother but of course sharice and her mother know nothing about dana and her mother so Dana has to live in the shadows of her sister Sharice, who the father lives with. He finds excuses to come spend time with Dana and her mother, who is like, I'm your wife too, so you gotta come over here and have let me fix you dinner and stuff. But they are a secret family, and this book is so good. Like, my heart breaks for her because, like, there are moments in the book where she wanted a job at the fair but her sister also wanted a job so she could not get the job because her sister was going to be there and the dad does not want the sister to find out about her and within this book i will say that the two sisters they meet and they y'all they start a really beautiful friendship and you can just tell that like there was a missing part of them and they feel that void and it's just the whole time I'm praying. When this girl find out that's her sister, like, Lord, please let them just be best friends and the best of siblings. And they just both go off on their daddy and they just run off and go to college and just be the best of sisters. I'm not going to say whether that happened or not. Just be prepared for your emotions to be all over the place, but this is a really good one. Next book is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. I'm trying to get all of her books. I've already did a separate review on this one, so go check that out. I know these are my favorite ones also. Take a Hint, Danny Brown, and Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I enjoy both of these so much. I also have a review on these two books. I bought these from Target as well. I cannot wait to reread these. Two. Another Target purchase was The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. If y'all remember, I said this was my favorite book of 2020, which I'm not sure if that still stands because I've read some other great five-star books. But this one is really good. I did a full review on it, so go check that out. The last book I got from Target is The Forgotten Girl by India Brown Hill. I'm really excited about this book because the author of this book, she's actually the first booktuber I came across. I just happened to search a book that I wanted to see if anybody talked about or author had any interviews online and she did a book review for it and she is what got me into booktube. So this book is full of ghosts. These two young kids, they discover a graveyard. It's a secret graveyard because during 
the olden times blacks could not be buried in the same graveyard as whites so this book is really really interesting i've heard great things about it and i cannot wait to read this one on my actual birthday, I went to Books A Million and I purchased two books. The first one is Swing Home by Zadie Smith. Not really sure what it is about, but I have heard that name before. She is a black author and this book was at a discounted price because if y'all get books from Books A Million, it is hard to find a book that is less than $15.99. Like, whatever price is on that book, that is what they're selling it for. So... I went to the clearance aisle and this is one of the books that I saw and don't really know what it's about, but I'm going to eventually read it. Other book that I found at Books A Million that was discounted is High Voltage by Karen Marie Moaning. You guys, a friend of mine from college got me into Karen Marie Moaning books, her Fever series. It is adult fantasy, so it's a lot different than YA fantasy, it's a lot more vulgar and explicit language. Um, I'm in the process of rereading it right now, just kind of skimming through some of the parts I like. It wasn't my favorite one, but the book is told in the perspective of Danny, and Danny is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. I like her better than the main character, Mac, who most of the books in the series are told from her perspective. I actually like Danny more than her. So this is Danny's standalone book. She has two. It's not my favorite. I've been skimming through it and a lot of parts I've been skipping over because you know it's just it wasn't that good. But I really like this book because there was a love connection that I sensed very early and it gets brought out in this book. So I'm really skimming just to kind of read the romantic parts and the bickering between these two people who actually have a lot of love for each other. So you guys, that is all of the books that I have for my birthday. I had a really good birthday. Shout out to my mom who spent the day with me and also shout out to my sister who bought three of the books that I showed y'all today. And y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you again for tuning in to another Books with Kimberly video.